Hello again, and welcome back to Educator.com's Introduction to PHP course. In today's lesson, we're going to be introducing you to your first PHP script, a script called Hello World.php, that uh, is a mixture of PHP code and HTML and outputs a simple um, HTML message. So, uh, what specifically are we going to cover in today's lesson? Um, first of all, we're going to cover um, how a PHP file um, gets converted to HTML. Um, we know that uh, on our web server, when we request a PHP file, Apache dispatch or invokes the PHP interpreter to process it, and uh, the PHP interpreter processes the file, generates HTML, sends it back to the Apache, who sends it back to the client. We're going to talk a little bit more about that process. We're also going to introduce the concept of PHP delimiters, uh, which are also known as PHP opening and closing tags, and we're going to have uh, another homework challenge to discuss. So PHP to HTML, how does that work? Well, um, first of all, as mentioned, we know that uh, when a PHP page is requested, the PHP interpreter is invoked by Apache. And basically from an input-output point of view, uh, the PHP takes a text file as input and generates some sort of output. Now PHP is a general scripting language, um, so it, it always is going to take a text file as an input. Um, because it's not just used in the web, um, it doesn't always generate HTML output. It can generate things like PDFs and images, other kinds of text files like XML. However, for this course, um, because it's a web-based course, we're going to be dealing with text files that are, have the .php extension and or a combination of both HTML and PHP code. And the PHP interpreter is going to process these files and on the other end it's going to generate HTML output. Essentially, it's going to be generating HTML dynamically on the fly. So how does PHP know when it, when it receives a .php file as its input, what's PHP code and what's HTML? And the answer is in what are known as PHP delimiters, also called uh, opening and closing PHP tags. And basically, these are special tags that, allow the, that inform the PHP interpreter that it's about to interpret some PHP code. And the tags, the pair of tags are right here. This one is the opening PHP tag. Um, it's a uh, less than sign followed immediately by a question mark, followed immediately by the lowercase characters PHP. And the closing tag is uh, simply a question mark followed by a greater than sign. So basically, anything the PHP interpreter encounters between these two tags is going to treat as code. Now, everything outside of those tags, uh, PHP just treats as text and it simply passes it to output. So as PHP um, processes your file, it, if it encounters HTML, it simply passes it along to output. Once it reaches a um, group of PHP delimiters, it executes any code in there, and if there's output to be generated, it adds it to the output it's already passed along. When it exits out of PH, the PHP code snippet, um, then it goes ahead and, and passes on any more HTML or other text it finds until it reaches the end of the file. Now, um, when entering PHP mode or when a PHP interpreter encounters a PHP opening tag, that's called um, escaping from HTML and you're entering into PHP mode. Um, once the closing delimiter is reached, the ending PHP tag, um, you're said to be returning to HTML mode. And within any single PHP file, um, you can intermingle PHP code and HTML as often as desired. So you can basically um, start off in HTML, process a little PHP code, go back to HTML, output something, go back into PHP code, do a little processing, and so forth as often as needed throughout your file. So let's actually take a look at our first PHP file called uh, hello world.php. So uh, this is hello world.php. We've opened it up in our text editor, PSPAD, which we installed in the last lesson. And you can see um, that we have uh, some simple HTML tags, uh, a body and uh, HTML open, opening and closing HTML and body tags. And then we can see uh, the PHP opening and closing tags or delimiters that we had just talked about. 
and with inside the PHP uh, delimiters, uh, everything that PHP finds, it executes as code. And so basically there's one line of code within these PHP tags, and it's an echo, what's known as an echo statement. And an echo statement simply outputs um, any text after the echo statement uh, that's between a pair of quotation marks um, and adds that to the output. And uh, the way you do that, so you write echo and then a space, your text you'd like to output. In this case, it's um, an HTML header tag uh, with some HTML with uh, the hello world um, message, and then after the quotation ends, you finish it off with a semicolon. So when PHP processes this file, um, it starts at the beginning, and all it sees is HTML. So it starts just passing that on as is to output. It reaches this PHP, PHP tag, and it says, "Okay, now I'm in PHP mode. I've escaped from HTML." Let me process what's in here. Okay, I found an echo statement, and an echo statement outputs text. So it says, what is it outputting? It outputs hello world um, in an H1 header, header tag. Uh, so what it's going to do is it's going to add that to the HTML up here that it's already passed along. Once it finishes processing the echo statement, it's going to exit out of PHP mode back into HTML mode, and then pass everything else it finds um, onto the output. So it's going to add it onto the hello world uh, text that it outputted as well as these intro tags. So if we actually um, were to go and view this web page, let's start Firefox. And I have it saved in a, um, uh, the lecture 4 directory of the intro to PHP directory that we talked about in the last lesson. And if we view hello world.php, we see the message hello world. And actually if we go ahead and view the page source for this, let me blow it up a little bit here we can see that the HTML code was just passed on as is by the PHP interpreter as expected. And instead of the uh, PHP code fragment in between um, the code delimiters right here, or the PHP delimiters, it's been replaced with the HTML itself that was output. So um, this PHP section up here is replaced with the HTML that that code section output. Uh, and that's how um, PHP interprets uh, the file and goes into and out of HTML, HTML mode. And as mentioned, you can do that as often as needed. So as an example, we could actually add another header statement here in HTML mode. We're in HTML mode right now because we're not between the PHP delimiters. And we'll just call it second heading. Close the header statement. And begin another block of PHP code using the opening and closing tags. And I'm going to create another echo statement, which is just echo followed by a space, followed by a, a quoted uh, piece of text. And in this case, I'm going to create another header and call it, and have it output the message second PHP block. And end it with a semicolon. Now if we save the file, and we go to view it, um, what we should see is um, the code up here outputted as before. When we leave the PHP code, uh, we will enter back into HTML mode. So this is, we should see this statement just as is in our HTML, um, the HTML source code. And this PHP code is gonna do the same thing as up here. It's gonna output um, another piece of text. So let's go ahead and view this in our web browser again. We've saved it and we refresh the page. And now we have the three different headers. And if we go and look at the page source, let's blow it up again. We can see the HTML opening and closing tags and the body tag. Um, we can see the original uh, HTML output by our first PHP code block. And if we look back at the source code file, um, we can see the second heading here that was output um, as is by the PHP interpreter uh, because it was in HTML mode. And then again, um, the second echo statement right here uh, was simply output and added to the rest of the um, output that the PHP had generated along the way. Finished off with the closing tags and it reached the end of the file. So uh, that's how PHP works uh, going into and out of PHP mode. And uh, we're going to be using that all throughout all this course and this is sort of a, a basic example. So um, 
would like to uh, introduce you to another homework challenge that I'd like to have you do. Um, again, it's another hands-on experience, hands-on opportunity to um, work with PHP code. And what we'd like would be to have you recreate the Hello World example or the Hello World script um, that we did in this class by hand on your own. Go into Open PS Pad, type everything by hand, and it may have the tendency to want to copy and paste. Um, but the idea is you really want to. Uh, code the text yourself because you'll learn about making mistakes. You'll learn that maybe you forgot how to write the PHP uh, closing tag correctly. Maybe you, you for left off the question mark or something. Uh, maybe in your echo statement you um, forgot to uh, put quotation marks around your text. So uh, I really encourage you to go ahead and, and code the file on your own. Um, then, I then you should save the file as hello world.php and I want you to save it in the appropriate folder um, of your Apache document root so that you browse so that you browse to it at this URL right here. And uh, the reason I'm having you do that is again to reinforce what we learned in, in the last lesson which is learning how the local file saved on your uh, computer within the document root, below the document root, map to uh, local host URLs. Um, and as you go along the way see if you make any mistakes. You might see some error messages and um, Try to figure out uh, maybe where you went wrong with your code, if you didn't save it in the right spot. Um, for example, if you're having trouble viewing it or if you're getting a, an error message from PHP. Um, also be sure to make sure that um, Apache is properly started um, and that you appropriately escape in and out of HTML using the PHP delimiters. Um, and also, if you make any mistakes, uh, PHP will, will give you error messages that um, have a line number listing where the error was made. And so you can go back to your source code. Maybe it says there's an error on line 11. Maybe um, we left out this initial quotation mark here. So actually, if we go and run this again, we'll get an error that there was an error on line 11. We can go back to PSPAD. And um, the way you do that is you have to turn on uh, line numbers in PSPAD. And then that way you can see that on line 11, um, this is where your, your error was. You can go back in, add the quotation mark, save the file, and when you reload it, everything should work as before. So um, that reaches the end of today's lecture. Thank you for watching Educator.com, and we look forward to seeing you at the next lecture.